When that opportunity knocks and you can become something successful in life, you got to push forward. Like even with myself, I had to make a decision when I was a drug dealing gangbanger. Am I going to become a rapper and leave this behind when I'm getting this money and, you know, this ghetto superstardom? Or do I really want to become a real star and let that go and push it to the limit and say, I'm not going to eat, I'm not going to get no money, I'm not going to do nothing but put my faith in this? And I did, and 20 some years later, I can say, all right, this was a great decision. The, th the best advice I can give you is go make some noise, you know. You got to find out who you are and be the best at, at that. And once you master at who you are, being, being great at that, eventually somebody like myself will come across you and be able to give you that opportunity. Or you just may make it on your own. Some stars are born, you know. You don't need people like me to make you when you're a born star. So I just want to inspire those out there that watching what we're doing, seeing what we're doing, just look at the positivity of what we're doing. We bring in love, we push in peace, and we push in positivity, so. I, I take a look into my, my heart with a positive mind, you know what I'm saying? And I always overcome because I know at the end of all the negativity is positivity if you look at it the right way. And I just lay it down in the right manner and just take care of what I'm supposed to take care of and be the best at what I'm supposed to do, and that's rock the miss like. So it's like you have to practice over the years. I wasn't great in the beginning. I was all right, and then I got cool, and then I got good, then I got better. And then I got great. Those are steps to becoming great. And a lot of people ain't willing to, to take those steps. It takes 10 years as something continuously to become great at it. And I stuck with it for 10 years straight before I had a record deal, before I had money, before I had lights and camera, before I had, you know, people wanting to sit down and interview me. I was 10 years strong in the game. <clears throat> but as you grow, you lose certain homies because it's called closing the gap. This is the gap when we start. This is the gap as you grow. Notice how you grow and they don't. So how do you close the gap? You gotta come back down. When you come back down, you lose. So you gotta keep going up. That's why closing that gap gotta be them catching up to you. And if they don't catch up, you gotta leave them behind because you get to the point now where you gotta start cutting out you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you can't look back when you cut them out. Because if they meant to be there, they're going to be there. Yeah, forever. Yeah, because I had to cut out family members before. Me and my cousin Daz fell out before. When me and him fell out, it was like, how do you fall out with... I taught you everything you know. Mm -hmm. I put you in the game. Mm -hmm. And you go against me. But that's what the laws of the game do. It, it puts you in a position to where sometimes you have to have these types of situations to see who really supposed to be there. Indeed. This shit ain't made for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like, everybody ain't gonna be a fucking star. Everybody ain't gonna be the shit. Everybody ain't gonna be what you are. It was 60 niggas that you was rapping with, and out of them 60, you the motherfucking one. And you can go back and try to help all 60 of them, but guess what? Ain't none of them gonna ever be you. And I done done it many times. I done tried to make niggas stars, and rapped on their shit, took them on tour, Damn near gave niggas my shoes, my clothes, my everything. Here you can have all. I can't make you a star. Stars are born, they're not made. You know what I'm saying? So it was like if you ain't born one, you can't make one. And you can't take your energy and put it into somebody and make them what you are. I had to cut a lot of niggas out that I really felt like, you know, man, I wonder how he doing. You know what, I can't worry about how he doing. Because if I worry about how he doing, then I'm going to miss a beat and I might miss my lines on stage and they may not want to pay me sure like indeed. they've been paying me. Sure I got to get this money. <laughs>